Hello, in this presentation, I want to show you how to create sheets from a list named as cell content using a template worksheet. If the contents of the list is formatted as text, it's easy to name a sheet after cell contents. But if we need dates as tab names, you must act as I present next. Column A is formatted as data and contains a list with months that I need as sheet names. Column B contains a formula to transform the date into text, formatted as I need, in this example year and month as shown. If I select cell B5, you can observe that, automatically cell C28 is selected, by running a macro that links, at selection each cell in column B, to same name worksheet, in this case not yet available. This feature will be available after sheet creations. Next, pushing create sheets button, will add sheets and name them according to each cell content in column B. As you can see, the sheets are generated and renamed as cell contents in column B. If I select a random sheet, it comes formatted and already prepared for filling data in it. In cell C2, is the same name as tab, called by a formula as shown. This formula is correlated with a function worksheet name, see later explanation. At any cell selection in range B5 to B28, in a P sheet, a macro will activate automatically the corresponding named sheet, as cell contents, and select the last used cell in that sheet. To return to first sheet, Click on any cell in yellow as shown. The C2 cell in each inserted sheet, returns the sheet name, as you can see. All the sheets were created, starting from same template sheet, including same page setup, named and linked with corresponding cell as tab name. Next, I will show and explain you, the code behind this workbook. The code in a P-sheet, give instruction at cell select in range B5 to B28, to activate the sheet named as cell content, and go to last used cell in that sheet. After cell selection in defined range, not to block the routine, the code select next cell in row, after that, select corresponding sheet if exists, and next the last used cell. Each newly created sheets, contains the same code as shown. But, there is a sheet named hidden, not visible which was used as template, and copied and renamed for each new created sheet. Close without saving the file, and then reopen it. We see only one sheet. Now, in the VBA window, there is another sheet, named hidden, not visible containing a code. You can see, now how the code in the AP sheet works, and in the absence of sheets, select cell C28, after on error was selected next cell in column. Select the hidden sheet, to view the code inside. Next, I will make the hidden sheet visible. As you can see, this sheet is already prepared as a template, formatted as necessary, ready to be filled in with data.
Also the page setup was defined, with margins, paper size orientation and footer. The sheet name, is also brought with formula in C2 cell, using a VBA function. By click on yellow area, the first sheet is selected. The code inside hidden sheet, contains two private subs, first one linked to the yellow cells, range A1 to F1, where at any cell selection in this range, the AP sheet is selected, a specific cell is activated, the filters are resetted if they are on. The second one, at worksheet activation calls a macro update formula, to update the formula in cell C2. This is a recalculation, needed when switching between sheets, to update the tab name in cell. Even if the workbook is saved at specific sheet, at reopen it will always start with the first sheet AP, range C5 selected and filters resetted, like in private sub workbook open. In module 1 is the main subroutine, called create sheets, copies the hidden sheet, as many times as position in column B, cell 5 to last used cell in column, and rename them to each cell content. Here is also the function worksheet name, which allows the formula in cell C2 hidden sheet, to retrieve the sheet name. So this formula, works only with this function. The update formula macro, is used to recalculate and update cell C2, when switching through sheets. The module 2, contain a macro last cell in sheet and a function last, to determine last used cell in active sheet. This sub is called in a P sheet when we select a tab, to go at last used cell automatically. Pushing again this button, will run the create sheets macro, after they are created, the button is deleted by the subroutine. Now, all sheets are created, in list order, linked with a P sheet, ready to be filled in with data. When the hidden sheet was copied, the subroutines contained were also, so from each new sheet if we select a cell in yellow range, the first sheet will be activated. Now, all works fine, and starting from my example, you can create your own list and template sheet, to achieve a workbook with multiple sheets in less than 5 seconds, instead of copy same sheet manually, rename it and link with the first one. I hope you found useful this presentation, and you can use it, or adapt it to your needs.